I'm finally putting to video a tip on how to use a tool that's been linked on my website for years called Folder Print. And it is a freeware utility I downloaded years and years ago and I'm going to show you how to use it today. Download this file, you'll see it attached in my tip at helpmerick.com or in my links and resources section at helpmerick.com. And once you get it downloaded to your computer, you're going to double click it. It's a zip file, so it'll come up looking something like this, and you'll see the actual program inside. And you need to pull it out of the zip file in order to use it. So I'm just going to simply drag it out to my desktop. You may get a question asking you, do you really want to do this? Click yes. And then you can close the zip file, and you'll now have an icon that says Folder Printer. You can delete the original zip if you like. So to use Folder Print, just double click it. If you're using Windows Vista, you might get this particular screen here. Just click Run. Then the Folder Print utility will open. And I'm going to go through all these little buttons here for you. So first what you want to do is navigate to the folder that you would like to print. So for example, I'm going to click my Web Editing folder here and it brings up and shows me all of the files in my web editing folder and then I can make certain changes to how this is going to print with these tools here at the top. For example, if I don't want the size of the document, I can click uncheck the button there. If I don't want the date, I can uncheck that. If I don't want what are called the attributes, whether it's read-only, etc., I can uncheck that. And lastly, if I don't want the comments, section I can unclick that and then I click the lightning bolt here which is the refresh and it'll show me just the list of files. Typically I at least like to have the date when I'm creating one of these folder lists so I'll click the date here then click the refresh button here and now you can see the date and then you can choose whether you want a full piece of paper here whether you want a CD label here or this is an old program so it even makes zip labels here. So I'm gonna go to file and then print preview so you can see what it looks like and there is the list. A couple other little quick tools I'll show you that are on the toolbar is if you want to make the font a little bit bigger you click this A with a little up arrow here and it'll make the font larger. I turned off the comments column but if you turn that back on and then I click refresh you can actually go in and click once in the comments column and then click once again to get your cursor and then you can say anything you want in the comments. And then those comments will print out for you when you create your list. Once you've printed the contents of one folder, you can print a contents of another folder by clicking the Browse button here. You'll get your list of folders. Then you can click another folder and it'll bring up the contents of that folder that you can then print again. That's how to use the folder print utility and again you can download this from my website at helpmerick.com dot com.